Welcome back to halftime. Once again, a great guest, Coach Barbara Welburn of the state champion Marjorie Indian basketball team, boys basketball team. Coach Welburn, we talked a little bit off air, good and bad. Mm -hmm. You hadn't even started to think about basketball yet because you have so many on the field tonight playing football. Right. We, um, all of them, all of them except for one is with me right now. So, uh, all on the football field. All of them right? on the football field, uh, except for one. And we're, we're doing a lot of just individual workouts right now. Cause that's really, one. With one. <laughs> and uh, it could be a little boring at times, but it's going to benefit him in, in, in the long run. So, and that, that's Isaiah Malone right now. So, Depending on what kind of run you're making, I think the football team will make a run in the playoffs. You don't have much practice time before your first game. Talk to us about that situation. Uh, that's that's not uncommon. We uh, it's every year like that for me. Um, and I was just sharing with you earlier. Usually we'll play on a Friday night football. We'll lose and we'll have one practice and then play on Monday. So I mean it's pretty much going to be the same way. We we just we're accustomed to it. That's just the way we build. Because of that this year, you didn't even schedule a game until after the state championship. Talk to us about your opening. Non-conference schedule. Well, we got um, we're going to start out in a tournament, um, the Gerald Jennings tournament, which we're going to host this year. So um, our first game is going to be in a tournament. So I, I kind of set it up like that because our hopes are to win the you know the state in football. So usually the the championship game is like on that Friday or that Saturday after Thanksgiving, and then boom, we we. We're ready to go basketball. Now, you and I talked off air. It's a good thing having a bunch of football players come to basketball. Number one, you may peak a little bit later, which mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. But what do you see as are the attributes of having so many football players play basketball? I, I think that's the key point. You just said peak, peak later. Um, everybody else is, like, excited about being in it. And when we play people, they've already played, like, ten games or something like that. And we're just now getting – you know, excited about it. Yeah. So uh, it really going to all just boil down to the end. It's not going to have anything to do with the beginning. So we're peaking at, at the point where we need to be peaking is at the end. We talked a little bit about your pre-conference schedule. Now, football is double A. Basketball will still be single A in a completely different conference. Talk to us about the favorites in the 1A. Is it 1A4? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1A4, yes. Um, I really don't know who the favorites are going to be. Um, I know that. Well, humbly, you're probably one of them. Well, we, we hope to be. We hope to be. But um, I just know what we got coming back and what we're going to do. We're going to respect everybody we play because anybody can be beaten in, in any given night. So that's the mentality that we have. We, we're just going to go out and whoever's in front of us, we just got to go out and play. Um, I know across the state you're going to have people like Grizz Ferry is going to be really good, uh, Concord is going to be really good, and it's just just whoever is just in front of you just got to play, just to lace them up and play. Coach, I know you as a great basketball coach now, but when I first you know heard of Barbara Welburn, the first thing that came to my mind is I'm sure a lot of our viewers talk to us about the challenges of being a female coaching a bunch of guys. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think it's a lot of challenges, to be honest with you, because I, I don't see any difference than, than a male coaching female. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just going to be the X's and O's, what you apply. And the kids are always going to want to know what you know. If, you, if they understand and believe you know what you're doing, I don't think it's much of a challenge, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people like to think just because I'm a female, and I'm coaching males that it's, it's hard. I coach girls a little bit. I'd much rather coach boys any day than to coach girls because it's, it's just that much difference. Uh, and, and I absolutely love it. So challenges, I, I can't really say there's, there's big challenges. Well, boy, girl, no matter what, Coach, you're a great one. I Thank appreciate you, the I appreciate time. It. Thank we'll you. be right back with the uh, wrap-up halftime and then the second half kickoff right after this.